Marvelous arm. Were you talking to me? Was he talking to me? Welcome to game 11. You ready, my partner? I'm ready. You got Green Sloan, you got Michigan, you got Dan against Terry. Fight. Fight, Scotty. It's open, bud. And then we sold Dan five years ago. That'll do it. There you go, B. Well, I'm moving. I set my rhythm to it. I go back and go slow. Dan can beat that. Dan can beat that. <laughs> and we got Rick against Earl on the other side. <clears throat> it's going to be a tough game for Dan and Rick. If Terry throws the way he did against me. This is going to be a no-brainer for, for Terry and Earl. Just waiting for Earl to uh, start hitting. Yep, Terry. Terry pulled that one out. <clears throat> so that gives Earl first throw. Oh, oh. And the way Rick's been shooting tonight, he'll definitely uh, put one on here. Rick, can you hear me? You'll definitely put one on here. There he goes. <laughs> Got a long road to haul, though. We have uh, two moose teams, Pete and the Knucklers, on uh, next to us. That's what Rick's talking to. Dan's, Dan's got two close ones. One almost looks like it's touching the stake, so Terry's got to put one on. Definitely has to uh, lay a ringer on there. These guys are very animated over there with their booms. Just like the, uh, the moose. Interstate batteries yells moose. The repeaters yell boom. <laughs> I don't know if you got two anymore, Dan. I think you got one, yeah. Terry does, though. Sold both of them for you, Dan. All right, what happened? You get one. Get one, Terry. I thought you had one too, Dan. Put one on makes make it a little tough for Rick.
Oh, he got robbed on that one. There's another three for Earl. For Earl and Terry. Terry's looking to see if he can't get four on that one. I don't think so. Oh, nope. He's too far back. Not looking good for Rick and Dan. All really depends on what uh, Terry does here. Terry gets a six pack. That's going to put a lot of pressure on Dan. If Terry gets even a ringer on, that's going to be 18 to 3 if Dan doesn't cover it. Oh, all right. That's the. That gives the rats a little window, a little breathing room. What they need to do is they need to get first throw and keep it. Darn it, that came in backwards, so. But that is a first throw that, uh, has Rick seen that yet? Just once, I think. Yeah, that, might, that looks like it came in. go. First one slid in there just a little bit. A little short. The other one's perfect. Good six pack. And there's the bell. Uncontested. Rick gets all of them. That, that's a big jump. We went from 15 to 3 to 15 to 10. Dan goes first. Am I yelling three pits over to uh, to Pete's team? Come on! Oh, tight four! Hey, wide open, Rob, right here. There it is. No, it's not. Lots of room, Bobby C. Take it out. Hey, Rob, get the Let's go. Tune in to uh, game twelve, where I, me and Bobby C, go for a little uh, revenge. See if we can't get the revenge on that uh, on that loss we got earlier. Just like that, we're within one. Nice job. Fun game to watch already. Let's see if Rick pulls a quicksilver. Nope, nope. I guess I'm the only idiot that pulls a quicksilver. Damn. <laughs> Look at that. Back to backs.
Nice. Very nice topper. Rick's like, darn it. Oh, that is the luck the rats usually have. <laughs> darn right, darn right. It's on video and slow motion. That could be the point. Dan needs to really put a ring around here just to seal that point on. Oh. Possible two. Over Terry. You got a number also. Just to remind you. Terry's not hitting this game, so he, he might leave those two alone. Give us at least one of them. I'm rooting for Terry. Come on, Terry. Oh. So far, so good. Wow, he's, he's going to be beside himself with that game. So the Rats win it from a 15 to 3 deficit, going to uh, a 21 to 15. Boy, that, that changed everything. That was an 18 and 0 run. Yes, it did. Man, I thought you were going to shine out of that. So thanks for watching.